everyone. Uh, I wanna, I wanna tell a, a bit, a little story, a short story. That um, so this video is about uh, how to write, uh, how to re reprogram, reflash your reflash drive, the uh, right protective device. So uh, my friend asked my help to uh, if I could help help him to to re reformat reflash uh, the flash dr drive that he, he had so uh, as you can see the flash uh, here is when I oh I'm sorry I just eject this and I plug it back so here if I format the drive um, start okay so the disk is right protected and I just did uh, every one set on the um, registry editor or something like that and then I just realized that when I open the disk management it said that the disk is read only so you cannot do anything uh, even you cannot copy uh, to the flash drive uh, I just try something like here I copy uh, this uh, zip file to the flash drive and it will say that this is right protected uh, so you cannot copy uh, anything to the flash drive so uh, so the first step that we need to do is uh, we get added some information what is the flash uh, um, what is the pro PID or VID and other uh, serial number or um, uh, some th med information that inside on the flash drive so uh, so we can go to the USB def are you you can just uh, the uh, so basically this uh, website is a uh, Russian website you can go to the mm, yeah, chip genius or something like that and um, I think I should translate this to English I can't read so uh, there is uh, some tools that we can use something like uh, USB info I, I just don't load that one Mm. This one, a uh, chip genius, chip genius. Maybe you can found here, chip genius. Hmm. Yeah, this one. Um. Can go. Uh. So this tool basically is. Uh. uh this tool is basically uh, to, to know what is the deep information of the chip information inside the flash drive so as you can see here I open the flash drive here USB tools and open chip genius and then I run as administrator so you can see here the flash drive is in the volume D and uh, this is the Alcor micro controller chip controller so this is the part number of the controller you can see AU6989SN GTC so uh, we can need a tool uh, for this Alcor micro I've been trying some tools that related to the uh, Alcor uh, MP here. There is a list, uh, a lot of list of tools. Now you can go from on the top. There is an Alcor MP in here. So there is a lot, a lot of files here. I have been trying uh, some tools, but uh, the only w one work uh, with this uh, flash drive is. Um, this one uh, this one uh, there is a Alcor U2MP uh, M26A 
so I, I have download the, the 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 file so okay we get okay this one so uh, make sure that you disable the um, the antivirus first because uh, some of the file is detected as a virus um, as a malware or something like that from, uh, with the Windows security security so I recommend you to disable the real-time protection first and then uh, since I run on the Windows 10 I'm gonna uh, change this compatibility run compatibility the program to the Windows XP service back to and then run this program as an administrator and then hit OK and then uh, I run this tool okay just hit OK so here the USB flash drive is USB flash drive is detected here um, but uh, if your flash drive is not detected uh, by the tools that you have downloaded, you have to find uh, another tools from the website. Uh, may might be in this case. Uh, um, I just talk about the Alcor controller, but there's some USB controller like um, silicon. Uh, I I got a for silicon motion oh yeah silicon motion and the python and other controller we have to download respectively uh, based on your flash drive so in here uh, first if if the flash drive is detected on the tool you can go set up and then just hit ok there's no password there and then it will detect automatically the chip so and then I'm gonna say uh, I'm gonna choose a scan mode low level format and then um, just leave this as it is and the information that might be I'm gonna change uh, the first thing first uh, when we use the chip genius okay I'm gonna copy this information Okay, uh, to sublime text. So you can see there is no um, product, you know, product information or vendor information for for this uh, flash drive. So if I open this, <coughs> and it's a setup, and then. Uh, you might want to change some information, something like uh, so. so uh, as uh, as you know that uh, this is a vendor ID for the Alcor uh, microcontroller and the product ID as well, six three x seven, and then the vendor string you can fill it as fill it uh, as you want. Like maybe since this is a USB. Maybe I'll core eight gigs, something like that. Maybe, and then the, the I'll core micro USB, and then you can copy this uh, on, uh, with the same information that you written on the SASI information information. So, and then the mode I just the mode is pure disk and I unthick this because I don't want it. this is the right protected so I just unthick this okay so I'm gonna check other tab the other I just left it left this as it is so the max current is 200 amperes so I just left this as it is also and then you can experiment with this tool also if you successfully refresh the Flash drive, okay. So, okay, I think the information is uh, okay now. So I can start and uh, refresh this uh, flash drive. 
so this is gonna take uh, a while maybe around 15 minutes or 10 minutes or 15 minutes something like that so I'm gonna skip this uh, step okay so now the process is done as you can see uh, the flash drive is reformatted and reflashed okay now we close this ROM again I try to get some information properties in here and this, this is still USB device okay I unplug this I eject first and then I plug it back okay now you see the information of hardware so now the information of the flash drive has changed to the information that we have written on the tools but now we're gonna try to format this flash drive um, first thing first I'm gonna go I'm gonna open the computer management and this management and here the flash drive is no longer read only okay so for the proof that we format this drive the flash drive Good format and hit ok and done now you can see the flash drive is uh, is no longer write protected for the proof I copy this to the flash drive now you can copy the files so that's all my friends uh, hope this uh, useful for you and I hope uh, you can use this method to solve your problem here. so uh, thanks for watching everyone see you next time